Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. So in this video, we are going to build a deep learning model. So we will build a classifier model to classify uh, brain MRI images. Okay. So we are going to use a no code, low code uh, uh, platform where we'll use a uh, uh, teachable machine by Google where we'll uh, upload our data set and we'll try to train a deep learning model. Okay. So you can see uh, we are going to, I'm on Kaggle right now and we are going to use this data set, brain MRI images for brain tumor detection. So if you see that there are um, 90 odd files, right, for each of the classes. So this is more of a binary classification problem where we'll classify these MRI images in no or yes. Okay, so whether there are tumor inside these MRI images or not. Okay, so see, you can see for no, then we have, you can also see the details, the metadata here, and you can download it from Kaggle. Okay, this data. Uh, it's around 16 MB size and I already have downloaded this data set so we are not going to uh, build any model like CNN or CapsNet or any other models we are going to or not even going to use a pre-trained model here okay for cl this classification task we'll try to use uh, a no code low code platform uh, by Google teachable machine so you can see here it, it kind of provides you the functionalities where you can you know train uh, deep learning or machine learning models for different uh, set of tasks. Uh, it can handle different uh, uh, medium of data sets like images, video, sounds, audios, poses, and whatnot, right? So when you click on get started, you will see there are three major categories of tasks that we can use, right, for training a deep learning model. Right? It says image project, audio project, or pose project, okay. So, Google also have a library called MediaPipe, okay, where you, they, this become very famous for pose classification, okay. And of course, it also has a lot of other uh, features and other set of tasks that you can do with MediaPipe. Teachable machine works very good for image project, okay, where you can upload your images, or you can also uh, create your own data set uh, directly from the webcam okay so if you click on image project you will have two different categories here okay standard mo standard image model and embedded image model we are going to use standard image model okay that you can see we can export the trained model to tensorflow or tf lite or tfj okay and gives you the model size is also very reduced so they do they perform all this quantization and all those uh, steps before we before you export the model in embedded image model this is uh, more for microcontrollers like you can download tf lite tfj as a microcontroller based uh, thing that you can use it over here so you can if you go and see what hardware support this model provides okay if you come over here you can read on the github repository Okay, there's, you can maybe using Arduino, uh, these libraries of which, which is compatible with Arduinos. Okay, maybe BLE 33 is where you do tiny ML and all those things. So, if you want to do that, you have to select uh, embedded here. I will go for standard image model. Okay, so. When you click on that, you will get this interface, okay, uh, add image samples, class 1, class 2, some training HDF and previews, pretty much minimal UI yeah, that you can see over here, right. So let me get, uh, give you an overview, uh, overview that how we are going to do that, okay. So, This will be our data set. So we'll have two classes, class one and class two. Right? So one can be no and two can be yes. Right? Uh, the, the, the data set that we have downloaded from Kaggle. Okay. So yes, yes means contains tumor. 
or some kind of anomalies when you talk about the images right and no means no tumor no tumor detected okay or found inside those images this is good this is going to be the our data set and then we'll upload that then we upload this data set on teachable machine which is a no or low code platform right built by google okay teachable machine and then you train a model train that uh, just calling to train so we'll get an uh, end product which will be the model always remember model is the end product okay so when you train using some algorithms on your data set you get an end product which is the model okay and then once we have the model we can do the inference we might use the simulate for this So this is the overview. So we have our data set, we'll upload, we'll teach every machine, then train and also have testing steps here. This is model, right? And if, if you are not satisfied with the performance, you can again do a hyper uh, parameter tuning or you can add uh, more images in your data set, okay? But remember it's a binary classification problem. So your both of the classes that you have should be balanced it should not happen like you have uh, for the no category or for the no class you have around 100 images and for yes class you have around 500 images and if you're not doing any augmentation and stuff okay it means your data will be biased because you have 500 for yes and only 100 uh, for no so your data is not balanced okay and it's a binary classification problem okay so when you when you will understand this more when you are uh, uh, evaluating the metric so never use accuracy for a uh, binary classification problem as an evaluation metric always go with the uh, uh, precision recall or you can uh, can always uh, bring in uh, confusion matrix for example when you are trying to evaluate your model we'll see that later okay so let's get back to image model uh, uh, that we have created here on teachable machine now let's upload you can rename this thing so what are you going to do going to change the class name from class 1 to class and you can also build a multi-class classification model you can add a class and you can always do that you can try try to see that if you have any other use cases in mind where you want to build a classification model model you can you can always use this platform okay so there are two options uh, to add the data set or the image samples in this case because we have selected an image model here right so in case of an image model, we have to either upload or create the data on the fly with the help of the webcam. Okay, so in our case, we'll upload. So it says, choose images from your file. So you can upload the images from the local uh, machine or you can always uh, import it from Google Drive because it's linked with Google, right? It, Teachable machine has been developed by Google, right? So come here I'll go to home I'll go to inside my project and excuse me where do I put my data the text of projects yeah brain tumor you can see the brain tumor data set in no I'll just click open it's, it's uploading all the images it's, you can see 98 image samples it says images will be cropped to square. So they kind of perform all these pre-processing, image pre-processing tasks, okay, from the back end uh, that they have to do. Okay, and then for years, we can do the same thing over here. What we can do, we can go to cancel and, excuse me, yes, sorry, desktop projects, brand tumor data set, yes. And then I upload this images as well. So you can see I have around 100 no and 155 yes. That's good enough. Okay, it's a good balance of having yes and no, but it's still 50 odd images more, right? In the yes class that we have. Once you upload that, okay, we have a option called train model. Okay, let's see what we have in the advanced. 
So in advanced, you can see some parameters, right? Like epochs or batch size or the learning rate. If you think that learning rate, if you have any uh, pre-understanding of deep learning, you you might be familiar with these terms. But I'm assuming that you don't have any uh, background of deep in the background or knowledge of deep learning. So I will skip this thing. Okay, this is mainly for non-tech guys. Okay, who are not so tech savvy. So if they have some data set, some images data set, or they want to build classification like. Uh, breast cancer or no breast cancer or uh, brain tumor or no brain tumor finding out covid or no covid from the x-rays or ct scans or mris you know or whatever when it comes to medical imaging or you want to do something like waste classifier so you have plastic wastes you have traces you have metals you have paper cardboard different kind of waste or traces that we have right if you want to build that but you have no technical expertise so you can use this tool teachable machine to upload your data according to classes and then you can just hit the train model you can see it it's it's giving this preparing training data it will take little time to prepare the uh, train data and now you can see it, it's, it gives you some status messages don't switch tabs I'll say okay it started training your model and now you see within few uh, seconds it's a model trained okay so we had 98 image samples, 155 image samples for years, and then we trained. And then what you can see over here is that we have a preview called export model, right? And then we have an input on off opening your webcam. So you cannot open the webcam because a file. So from file, you can upload the images, right? And from Google Drive. Let's first export the model, how we export the model. So when I click and click on this, it first asks you that what kind of projects that you know you are working on or you want to use this particular model that you have trained using Teachable Machine. So if you are building a JavaScript application, a client-side application where you like to uh, use this model, you can export this model using TensorFlow.js, TensorFlow.javascript, you know, which, which is a very good way of building this kind of model where we, where data privacy is a concern so you don't want to store the data you want to perform all the operations in the client side you can use tensorflow js i will go with tensorflow which will give me a keras model or you can also use some other saved model that we have i will go with keras which is a high level api okay built on top of tensorflow so i will click on download my model says converting model and I'll again save the model in my projects and in the same folder and what I will do now I will come here I will extract once I extract you can see that I have two files inside the folder that I have downloaded or exported from teachable machine right so one is labels.txt that contains the classes that we have two classes if you open that you will see zero or one that the indexes that works right in Python so zero no one yes and then we have that h5 file the h5 format the way we save the TensorFlow or Keras based models. I think there are different ways of saving models as well, not only H5 uh, that you can save it, but we have received this too from Teachable Machine. They have also given you, uh, have given you a snippet that you can use it if you want to use. You can see that you have to first import Keras and uh, this library from here. Then you have to uh, load the model then you have to give the classes name, the labels txt, then you have to do some pre-processing with help of numpy, okay, so you are getting this, uh, setting up with all the uh, shape, and then we are loading the image, and we are getting the size and fitting it, resampling, 
then converting to as an array with the help of numpy okay and then normalizing it and then passing it to the model okay and we're getting the uh, we're using the maximum and you can see here np dot arg max finding out the index and then we are uh, predicting whether this contains a tumor or not no worries basically you can use that we also have a open cv uh, that you can see so input cv uh, based on default okay that is for different thing we are going to do webcam and stuff here so we will just use the keras one so we will <coughs> we'll not use this code okay maybe later we can use it now in the next step what we have to do we have to first test it out that model and maybe we can build an an application okay uh, with the help of streamlit right to consume this model and try to integrate in a ui kind of stuff let's see if i can just do plain mri image containing tumor and i'll go to images we'll try to see this i'll try to take one of the image and see what it says directly from the okay this is the one that i have downloaded i'll go back to my image model and you can see over we have an option here of uploading file i would like to test the model okay now so it says choose images from your files i would like to choose the image and you can see yes you can it it worked well for this particular image that we have uploaded you can see right from naked eye also you can see a tumor right here and model kind of model kind of understand where the tumor is that the up data that you uploaded okay very less amount of data okay do not use this model in production or do not go and you know deploy this model anywhere in to really try to find out if a person has brain tumor or not in the mri scan the lot goes to do those kind of predictions when it comes to medical imaging this can be a good start to understand how you can use a uh, a no code low code or nclc platform where you do not have to you know uh, write code or to train a cnn conventional neural network model or any other kind of pre trained model that you use to classify uh, different classes right different data set it's good for people who have who are citizen data scientist or who have no knowledge of deep learning okay and this is a very quick way of training a classifier and now uh, exporting a model that you can use that model for a simple prototype not for this use case but for any other use cases as well like i was telling you about the waste management earlier you can use it for those things if you want to build a quick prototype and want to show it to your clients or your friends or your, even in your resume or you are participating in some uh, hackathons or, or anywhere you are working right now so this is done it says yes you can see that image uploaded have been uploaded directly from the internet we have taken from here what we are going to do now is we are going to see that how we can use this particular model that we have downloaded uh, in an streamlit application right so we'll see that in the next video okay the uh, the next video after this we'll create a streamlit application and we'll uh, utilize this train model that we have exported from teachable machine and then we'll con we will also containerize that model in the upcoming videos and we we'll like to deploy this maybe on render or uh, streamlit uh, itself from github uh, share streamlit and maybe you can also deploy it on cloud if required like azure for example okay so i hope you like this video you got some understanding of using a uh, low code no code platform i will also include other low code no code platforms or auto ml platforms like we have auto ml platforms from google or aws and we also have microsoft flow h2o.ai we have different lcnc and auto ml platform that i will be uh, creating a lot of content using those platforms if you like this video uh, please uh, like and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment box and please share this video and the channel with your friends and in your peers thank you so much for watching